Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Into the Necrovale. This was released on Steam and Early Access on January 26, 2024. Its regular price is 1949 Canadian or your regional equivalent, and it's developed by Casey Clyde and published by Tribal Storm. This is an action RPG in which you collect powerful items that interact with one another. You must be clever with your build if you hope to pierce the mysteries and dangers of the Necrovale, where a thousand generations of miscreants and criminals have been banished. Like I said, it's developed by Casey Clyde. This is the work of a single developer, and I've played for just under an hour so far, and it's flipping awesome. <laughs> so we're just going to continue my journey here, and I'll explain a little bit about the game. This is your hero, the refuge is your starting and also ending area. You kind of go through cycles where you go up to a dungeon and you end up coming back here after you've done that dungeon level. Just go over some of the systems quickly. Obviously, you've got health, uh, you've got power, which builds as you attack enemies, and you can either hold shift and attack, or you can press Q to trigger your, your power move. And your power move varies depending on the weapon you have equipped. We'll get to that in a moment. You've also got your hope meter here, which is... I mean, it's technically out of like 200, isn't it? Because uh, I guess this middle line here is zero out of 100. You can see here I'm in negative 30 out of 100, which means that I am currently gloomy. Uh, as you can see here, hope is earned from clearing levels. It's also lost when you die. I'm at minus 30 because I just died. And you exchange it for crystals of hope at the end of a run. Basically every 10 hope you have gets you one crystal of hope, which is this blue one here. And you use that to unlock various things in this hub world. Uh, this is a merchant. He was all depressed before I got here. Uh, but I gave him one Crystal of Hope, and now he's a vendor. Same over here, this was a closed door that cost four to open, so I spent four Crystals of Hope to open it, and I can now upgrade my weapons, or my equipment in general. Also just down here, you've got four potion uh, slots. You pick up potions when you're in the dungeons, and they just have various effects. Here is my equipment and stats screen. All your, your standard standard equipment, basically helmet, armor, uh, boots, gloves. Haven't found whatever this is yet. Possibly a book, maybe? Uh, a ring. This is like your offhand, so it can be a shield. It can also be a totem, which is what I've got equipped right now. And your weapon. And when the description said that the items interact with each other, it's really true. Um, I actually found a legendary weapon recently, but this rare one is kind of really cool. Um, you can see it does more damage with higher hope. Uh, right now, my DPS won't be very good with it. It's only 84. I think before I died, my DPS was at like 98 or something with this, so I might uh, might not keep that one equipped. I might switch to something else. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. And then also coins here, which you just use at the merchant. Uh, and everything else here is locked off so far, like this guy over here, I need to unlock by paying six Crystals of Hope. So let's, let's just head in. Um, actually, we'll, we'll go down to, uh, there's one more room down here, and you can see the map of the world, the Necrovel map. So this is where I am, this, this is where you start, kind of tutorial area, you do one level, bam, you're in the refuge. This is, uh, Necrovel Dungeons 1, 2, 3, my next, uh, objective is Necrovel Dungeons 4. And it looks like at the end of 5, or possibly in 5, there's going to be a boss. And all these different areas here just need uh, Crystals of Hope to open. So I think the Hornslack Ruins needs, I think it's 8 Crystals of Hope to open. Uh, it's it's pretty much just like right by this entrance over here. I think it's this one. Yeah, needs 8 Crystals of Hope to open. So I'm fine just finishing up Necrovale Dungeons right now. So we are going to go. Uh, you can see I've done 1, 2... Three and four I died in last time, so we're gonna go into four. And uh we we just start. We get a random room, the boneyard, we have to clear the Draugr lackeys. Kind of quite small scale little individual levels, but there's a decent variety I've found so far. Uh so let's let's hop in here. If you see pentagrams on the floor, that's where they're gonna spawn. God, there's a lot of them. Uh I don't know how much damage I'm gonna do now, because my uh my hope's quite low. So let's use a power move with Q, and I think it says my power move um, means that kills generate hope? There don't seem to be, I'm still at minus 30. <laughs> we can actually pause, so let's have a look. Kills generate hope. 
Doesn't seem to be doing that. Maybe I didn't have enough um, power, power points, possibly. There you go. So you can see we got 13 hope there. Uh, I think we got... Yeah, we got 13. I don't know why I said 14. Well, there's a disparity there. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a little bit of health drop there. We don't actually need it. So we're just going to leave that. Finish that room. At the end of your room, you get a chest. Just a common spear item there. We'll be selling that when we get home. Uh, and then, at the end of the level, you get choices of two areas, I guess. Like, this was the boneyard. We've got the prison or the cache. don't remember what cache was. Let's just have a look at cache. I think it's like uh, bandits. Oh, raid the cache of treasure. Don't mind if I do. Why is spirit? Common amulet. So that's I've got an uncommon amulet here, so I'm probably not going to use that. Potion effect plus 50%? No. And I think you get the option of uh, yeah, unlocking more chests with these. We're not going to do that. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have them. There's an ember over there. That's what you use to upgrade your, your weapons or your, your gear. Um, I thought I upgraded this. <laughs> you can see this one... My headdress refinement level normal one. Um, it's been upgraded. I definitely upgraded this. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe when I died? You don't lose your equipment or anything when you die. Um, you just lose hope, which is quite interesting. Like, I was expecting it to be, like, fully roguelike. Like, I would put together this uh, nice little build, and then I'd die and come back with no equipment. And then the first time I died, I still had everything. I was like, oh, wow, this is great. It's, it's just very fun. Gotta kill a bunch of dogs in this one. They're gonna spawn in here. Die. Do I one-shot them? Yeah, I do one-shot them. You can see most of them, the rest don't come out until I get close enough. Okay, I got a little bit of hope there. God, that's, that's seven. Oh god, I didn't realize he was alive. That cost seven power, and it gave me one hope. <laughs> Does not seem worth it. You'll, uh, you'll notice in the bottom right, um, it always shows you how many enemies are left, which I think is just awesome. It's, it's really nice to know uh, like how close you are to, to finishing Ow. finishing the, the levels. Nice. Well, there's one left. See? He might have surprised me. Okay, we're now positive hope. So my DPS has gone up to 84? I think that's probably what it was before. Maybe a negative hope doesn't affect it. Steel handles. Just just more damage, uh, or, or more defense, um, which is what my, my greaves are. But my uh, my gauntlets right now ignite enemies, which is quite cool. Uh, obviously much cooler than just a bit of defense. Uh, symmetry, I believe, costs hope to open graves. I don't want to lose hope right now, so we're going into the laboratory. <laughs> like potions. Sanguine file, that's probably health. Yes, that's good. Kokoroot is speed. Cool, that was nice. Oh, we don't get a chest there. Uh, I think we did crypt. Let's go into the library. Just trying to show off all the... All the different levels. Hopeless Dead Eyes, I think, are archers. Which are a little... Oh, God. A little bit annoying. Oh no, they're spear throwers, not archers. My previous weapon was a boomerang, which did a lot of damage and like bounced around, but I could only attack so many times. Um, I could only attack like twice, and I had to wait for it to return to me. So I really like this bow build I'm doing right now, where I can just spam my attacks. It's really great. Like my DPS is, like attacks per second is two. So I think it's slightly more um yeah I, I really like this 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 bow build i started off with a sword i think it was and then like i instantly found <gasps> we're in positive hope 87.6 yes <laughs> uh, i instantly found a bow and i was like oh i guess i'll try it out and it was just so much fun i have not gone back to not a bow since <laughs> where was the where's the exit was i close to the exit no it's here Stronghold or Atrium? <gasps> we got a book! Fire attacks do more damage, okay. So you can see the, the pieces are starting to work together now. So potentially... 
you think fire strike maybe fire strike doesn't count as a fire attack possibly i do have a i've got a the legendary staff i had was a a fire staff so potentially that might work together a bit more now Mega archers they always hide in the bushes die oh it's fine i can take a bit of damage i've got health Yeah, so this one you can see in the bottom right, we're just doing waves now. So we just, just kill every enemy, and then we wait for the next wave to spawn, pretty much. So there's a nice, nice little variety in the areas you can get to, the objectives in each area, that kind of thing. You should use that. Ooh, potion. I think that one gives you more hope. Still three waves. Still two waves. No, it's still three. No, it's gone down to two. <laughs> um... This is in early access right now. It's not been out too long at the time of recording, just a couple of months. Um, and so there's not a ton of content in the game right now. Um, I think people are, people said in their reviews is like two to three hours of content pretty much. Uh, and after that point, you start getting to places where it's like, this area is still in development, come back later. <laughs> yes, 26, hope. 93 DPS, we're killing it. Uh, so I haven't got to that point yet, because I'd only played for about an hour before starting this video. Uh, but it's it's so much fun, and it's going to be hard, but I'm going to, like, once I'm done this video, I'm just going to leave it until it's it's done early access, because I think I'm having so much fun with it right now, I think it would just kind of suck to get to the point where, uh, where I have to stop, because there's... You know, everything else is in development. So, like, we, we saw that map earlier. I don't know how much is in here right now. Um, I think it says in the early access, like, on the page, it says there's five zones already. I just don't know how far you can go into each of them. I'm guessing not too far. So we finished our run. We've got 26 or 27 hope. Um, so I think it's every 10 hope. So if it was 30 hope, I think I would get three gems because it's just below 30. I think I should get two gems, so we'll pray to the mother. And we get two gems, there we go. So that's used up all my hope, annoyingly. Uh, I guess I could skip talking to her if I wanted. But I think four gems is enough to open uh, the blacksmith bit. So maybe we'll go have a look at that. We'll rest up by the fire. We could also stoke this. Uh, the fire gives me this bonus. My max health has increased. Um, I guess I could just get more max health. It's fine right now. Oh no, he's six. Uh-oh. This guy's four. I think he just sells potions. Not super helpful. Because you, you see, I went into, uh, I went into that last dungeon with no potions and I've now come out with, uh, three. So I'm okay. He's got an uncommon robe. Potion effects last longer. It's okay. Uncommon staff, an ice staff, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all my commons to him. I'm up to 100 coins now. And in fact, like, just less damage is kind of basic, so I'm also gonna sell that. But I'm not gonna buy anything from him. We go over to my chest. There's my, uh, my legendary staff. It was, uh, it was just kind of trickier. We'll, we'll take it out. Uh, I'm also gonna take this out. So my DPS with the bow is 84. Also 84. Whoops. Also 84 with the staff. Uh, weapon damage 42 and 2. 5.6 and 15. I don't know. It's a... Uh, I've, I've got it equipped, right? This is what I do with it. It's kind of cool. And like theoretically it, it's comboing a bit more with this. I, I just think the bow is so much better. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave the staff in there. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, gem thing, my dull ember, and I can upgrade my bow with the ember. There we go, now it's plus one. I'm sure it was before. Maybe I didn't save or something. I don't remember. Uh, but now it's even better. DPS has gone up by like eight, actually. That's very good. Okay, I'm just going to save my gems. Let's go to the Necroel Dungeons, theoretically. We've got five up here, which should be a boss. Don't know if it's a boss right at the start or a boss at the end. 
Let's go find out. This is all new to me. It's at the end. We gotta go through the area. That's fine. Really, really nice little touch to have the... Uh, ooh, look at that. To have, like, the enemy spawn show up as little pentagrams, it's really nice to get, like, a little bit extra planning time. It's very good. Oh, this is the one that gives health. What was this one? This is your base defense. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, costs 20 health, but gives you 20 hope. I mean, 92.3. 101. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because uh, health's pretty easy to get right now. Even though, like, when these guys drop health, like those little red blobs you might have seen earlier, I think they only give you, like, two health back. <laughs> One left. Where is he? There he is. Got him. 13 hope. Look at that. Look at my damage. See, what, what a what a cool cool item combo there. The hope. Uh, hope increasing your damage. It looks like a little dagger. Offhand dagger. So I would go here. Try to ring of daggers. That's awesome. <laughs> what? Tax person. I mean, can I just do that over and over? There's like a little cooldown on it. I don't see a cooldown thing anywhere. That's great. This thing was kind of useless. <laughs> I love this dagger thing. Uh, respite or cash. Respite might be health. Let's go to uh, respite. Yes, take a brief rest to mend. Enjoy fire. We even get... Oh, we don't get a chest. But I will break things. Just in case. <gasps> we got increase your base damage great so i can use hope to open this kind of yeah i just don't want to do it right now with this build because hope is obviously giving me a ton more damage i don't know what's over there looks interesting uh you might notice there's like these like gray bars on the side of the screen don't know why don't know why it's not fully 16 by 9 it's a very strange aspect ratio hopefully that gets fixed at some point it's very strange um not a massive deal Bolt hole's a tough one. Let's go do bolt hole, because it's hard. Uh, yeah, just hopefully that gets fixed. Find and kill the cutthroats. Th this was hard the first time I did it. Ugh. Maybe that was when I still had my boomerang. A little bit of health. It's like 2.4. Yeah, let's get in the middle. Knives! Whoa. I don't think it did a ton of damage. But boy, was it cool! <laughs> Uh, and also really good at breaking all the, the boxes and stuff. What do I want here? I can just recover my health. Let's do that. We'll grab this. Because that's more health. Nice. Oh, this is going to be so satisfying. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, like all the, the barrels and stuff. They're kind of annoying to break. Because, you know, there was quite a lot of them. And they have, like, a really low chance of dropping something, but they can drop, like, they can even drop gear. So it's worth doing it. So having these daggers is awesome. <sighs> what is that? A rare axe. It looks like a scythe. Kills generate health. That's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, much worse than what I've got right now. That drops my DPS by a lot. But that's still very cool. Innocence Path, Exile's Hold. Innocence Path was a, an NPC, I think. I think you come in, it's like... Oh, no. It's a, an escort quest. There was one. Uh, one of these kind of things. And you came in and, like, the little, like, sub... Like, the little um, task was be nice to the harlot, which was quite funny. <laughs> okay, we got to escort the innocent. We can... Uh, we can heal her, I believe. With hope. Ugh. I think I'm going to be the one needing healing. We basically just got to get her through here as quickly as possible. Like, um, I guess maybe just as carefully as possible. Because they don't keep spawning behind me or anything. Oh, there was there was one level. It was just like, it was, it was something about rats. And it was just uh, a maze. And... The, the rats in it just kept spawning infinitely, and you had to find the right way out, and that was, uh, I think that was the most recent time that I died. 
Oh, dull ember, yes. Break all those. We're probably almost at the end. We did it. You're safe, innocent. Got ten hope. Thank you, stranger. Ooh. That is an amulet, which is this thing, right? Grants a magical barrier and makes your barrier regenerate more quickly. Interesting. Healed when dealing a critical hit. That's also quite useful. Let's try this one out. There's my magical barrier. So it just stays up. Sounds pretty good. Wise spirit. Lodge. I don't think I've seen Lodge. Unless this is the, <laughs> the boss fight. Okay. I think I'm ready. Got speed. Defense. Damage. I'll probably pop both of those. And... Do I want to use this right away? I mean, yeah, maybe. 125. 134. Okay. Ugh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> They're horrifying! <laughs> okay, uh... I've used all my potions. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I picked up a potion. I was like, yeah, this will be great. I clicked one, and then I realized what I picked up. And it was cyanide. So I died. <laughs> I was like, there's no way a, a bad potion's gonna drop or anything. Fuck. So yeah, didn't didn't lose anything, didn't lose my money, didn't lose my gems, didn't lose any of my gear, just lost my hope and like the progress in there. So it, it's nice, it, it's really forgiving. Uh, let's pop. Oof. Probably just that in there. Oh, he's selling legendaries, a legendary bow. Long range piercing shots that do more damage to each successive target. That sounds really good. It's half my money. Legendary amulet. When your projectile's destroyed, it forks. It's so less damage. I mean, that sounds like that could be really cool, right? Let's grab both of those. Because I want to try them. So DPS right now, 105. Two thir oh, 23.9. Okay. 11.4. This is gonna be interesting. Looks like it also zooms me out a little bit. I gotta try this out quickly. I spent all my money on this. Uh, and I'll keep... You know, I've got, got these two here. I gotta try it out. <laughs> Let's see if it's any good. It might be terrible. <laughs> but I really wanna try it. Clear out the hopeless dead eyes. Okay. Is that... It seems pretty bad. <laughs> I went from one-shotting everyone to... I don't... Maybe my projectile doesn't get destroyed or something? Like, even my my damage per second is, like, so low. Damn it. This seems really bad. <laughs> There's probably a way to make it good. I just don't have that. <laughs> Shit. Well, there goes all my money, I guess. Yeah, this is just so much better. God damn it. <laughs> Your attacks have much more range. Well, that sounds awesome. That sounds much better. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and get back to that boss fight again. Gonna give it one more go in this video, because it went very badly. So I will see you when I'm at that boss fight. This is another thing like that rat tunnel I was talking about. I fell off a bridge into the slime caves or something. Uh, and I now have... To I just died. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going to make it back to the boss fight because I've been recording for a while. Uh, but yeah, this game is super fun. Really, really cool. Um, I am going to leave it until... It's done early access though, just because I think it's so strong already. I'd be really bummed to like put a bunch of time into it now and then have to stop and wait for however long it's going to be in early access for. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely be playing more of this once it's done early access. This is so, so cool. Really, really love this and really impressive uh, for being done by a single developer. It's, it's just, it's just fun. You know, it's not like overly difficult. 
It's not punishing. It's just fun, and I love that. That was a look at Into the Necroveil. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!